Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Uh, we have the last regular season game of year one for the Cardinals franchise. I'm a little bit behind on this. We need to speed it up a little bit. Kyler Murray wins NFC Offensive Player of the Week, throwing for 373 passing yards, five passing touchdowns, two picks, four sacks, two carries, 12 rush yards, and a 32 of 48 completion. We are taking on the 10 and 4, 10 4 and 1 Rams. Uh, they are top the division. If we push them to 10 and 5, and if the Seahawks win, then they take the division. So these last two games are very important on who comes out on top. If we win this, I think the Seahawks will take first. If we do not, I think the Rams are going to definitely take it. Well, of course they will because they only have four losses then. We're on defense first. Let's get it. These wide receivers are very dangerous, and Todd Gurley is going to play like a Todd Gurley. So this is not going to be a fun day for us, I don't think. Oh, he went upfield. I thought he was just going to keep going across. So I thought I could drop back and cover a little bit deeper. So not a great start for us. Uh, yeah, all three of these wide receivers can do something, as well as our tight ends are good enough to do anything. I think our biggest help could be just winning our matchups at the defensive line. Uh, they do not have the greatest O-line. I think besides their tackles, they're not even above average. If you literally take away their two tackles and Whitworth and Harvenstein, or Harvenstein, uh, they're fucking terrible, like they are. So we gotta play to our strengths. We gotta beat them at the D-line. I missed that, and that's my fault. Yep, that big play's my fault. So they're already off to a good start for them. Cooper Cup, two very good receptions already. I'm gonna break this out a little sooner than I wanted to. Boo to Baker with stop. They get down to the five yard line now after a six yard pickup. We just let them fucking run all over us on the first drive. And that's what I was afraid of. I, I was afraid of just them just being able to open up that weapon wheel and just go nuts. So, On offense now, uh, the two things I'm looking to get done. It's kind of force speed to O.J. Howard. He's nearing that 1,000-yard mark. He's about 98, no, 92, something around there yards away. He's about 15 catches, so could try to look to force speed him. And I also want to get Joe Mixon going. But you know how that works sometimes. Last time we played the Rams, they did force us into a bad situation in which Aaron Donald went off at the end of the game, uh, basically forcing, just winning the game, and that fucking sucks. Okay, cool. Uh, O.J. Howard is not getting to 1,000 yards today, I don't think. Uh, he's out. They just fucking stop us. Joe Mixon isn't getting anywhere. They are keying off on Joe Mixon or something. I don't know. Have to punt. That's going into the end zone. Yep. About four yards deep into the end zone. So. Yeah, ruptured dick. Disc. Yeah, ruptured dick. Yeah, no, it's ruptured disc. So he's out. Uh. Oh my god, let me fix my camera. Yeah, they are just going to destroy us. Because they are playing for that spot right now. And I can definitely feel it. I don't know how we even got close. I think Jared Goff had a bad game last time. Oh, pick, Josh Jackson. Good job, jo Josh. I don't really think it was him that made the play. I think it was more Jerry Goff just not putting it in the right spot. Oh, 
Ooh, there we go. I know I couldn't do anything. If I back juke, he's just going to have a better angle on me. If I juke one way or the other, it's just going to put him at a better angle. And if I spin or truck, it's not going to work either. So I just figured stiff arm's the best option there. It didn't quite work either. So Joe Mixon touchdown. Let's go. Good way to bounce back for us. Getting a pick on Josh ja with Josh Jackson and then Joe Mixon leading the way on the ground. Time for another stop. Started running backwards because he wanted to miss a tackle from, what was that, Gary? So. Yeah, I don't think zone's going to work for us. I think we're definitely going to have to play man almost all day. Just for the simple fact of they are just finding those soft spots and just using them to their advantage, which is how you should play against zone. And I'm not saying anything bad about that. Like, they are finding those soft spots. They are sitting down, and they are waiting for the football. So we're just going to play man then. Get there, thank you. Yeah, he's 9 for 10 for 100 yards, a touchdown and a pick right now. And he's like 6 inches away from not having that pick as well on his record. Yeah, and then they can just bring out Todd Gurley whenever the fuck they want, so... Cooper Cups just goes up and gets that fucking football. And he's past 1,000. Cool. So, their whole team is reaching their marks this year. And they're all doing it against us. Nice. What is that? Henderson? Yeah. Yeah. Todd Gurley. Fuck. Okay. Offense time. Go, Mixon, go. Good job picking up yards there. Getting off to a fast start now. It's funny how they took our best weapon away in the pass game, but then all of a sudden we're doing good in the run game. Like, that's kind of weird. Like, you'd think, oh, wow, they, we took away their best receiving option. Let's just go ahead, focus in on shutting down their run now. Dalton Schultz wasn't bad. He was having a decent year before we brought in O.J. Howard. He's going to continue that. Every now and then, he just, like, finds himself wide open anytime he's in. It's really weird. What was that, rap? Yeah. So we're going to check out that RPO. Oh, the Lord, Jesus Christ. Get set. Trying to go for Isabella there. Not a whole ton open. Going to have to face third down. Got a double team Aaron Donald here. Hakeem Butler with the catch. Let's go. Five of six for 56. Not off to a bad start myself. Larry Fitz across the middle. Oh, nope. Okay. I was going to say Larry Fitz across this middle right here could be very deadly. I'm going to go with the run though. Go five yards for Tuan Taylor. Get 
I didn't think Don Johnson was going to play man on him, but whatever. That sucks. We're going for it. I don't care. Go goal line and let's just jump the pile with Taysom Hill. He gets in. Let's go. Taysom Hill. Let's go. 14-14. Got to slow Cooper Cup down here. Nobody else besides him and Gurley really have gotten anything going. And as I say that, Gurley goes for 10. I don't know. Oh, we, Todd Gurley got injured last time. Yep, that's what happened. I was like, how did we end up stopping Gurley? And then I remember that he got injured after he picked up like 50 yards. Or something of that nature. Or we just like completely shut him down. But he's... I don't know why you guys are celebrating. He's averaging almost 10 yards a carry. Like, you guys shouldn't be excited that you finally stopped him after he picked up, like, 8 or 9. Just containing that edge right there. Now he's got caught in the backfield as well, so that's kind of a problem. Stop Daryl Henderson, though. He's only averaging a 245. Yeah, but the team thing is probably still up in, like, the 8 still. I don't know who the fuck he was throwing to there. Looked like the running back or the wide receiver either A, let it too far inside, or B, threw it way too high. They'll punt it. Hopefully that goes... Okay, 19, whatever. That's not terrible. I'll take that. Let's just open it up with a quick pitch. Let's get outside. Let's steal it. Okay. Shamuka, you got to take out Peters there, though. Like, he cannot do that to you. I love how I just got sucked into an animation that whole time. I juked way too soon. 7 to 9 for 96. If they're not going to play man on is it is a ball like that, I'm going to Pick up the first easily. As Clay Matthews and Aaron Donald decide we're going to fuck this dude right in the butthole. Uh, that was not fun. Like, I'm releasing. Like, I'm holding square to throw the ball because I know they've already shut it. I'm like, I need to throw this football. And Kyle Murray's just like, let me just take my sweet ass time real quick. And Dante, Dante Fowler. Cool. Yeah, this is going to be a real fun game. If that's how that's going to go the whole time. Oh! Isabella! Weddle, you're a fucking bum. Touchdown. Let's go. I was just expecting it to get knocked out at the last second and then just play over, let's punt the football, let's play deep. But that is not the case. We are going to get a touchdown. Okay, come on, D. Step up again. I didn't think it was actually going to hand it off. But it did, and my defensive backs were there to save my ass. Oh, 
that's probably my area of where I'm supposed to fill, but back on offense after two very quick scores. Stopping, mixing after a two-yard rush there. You guys didn't block the one guy. There's three of you fuckers there. If you guys triple team his ass, he is so far gone, he's going to get sent into another fucking dimension. Like. But no, it's okay. I understand why he didn't block him. He's scary looking. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Either A, have somebody on my tail, or B, there's somebody shedding so fast that I can't do anything. Do not, do not, do not, do not, let's go. Yeah, but they're going to get a fucking 60-yard run off of this, watch. Oh no, we get a safety. Let's go. They should have handed it off to the receiver there. Let's go. Ryan Switzer with the return. Gets it up to about the 23. Is he injured? Jerome Baker is apparently injured. We're going to sub in Joel. Going to see what he has. This game doesn't matter for us, really. I mean, it is a momentum game if we win this. And it completely throws off the division, so. That sucked. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, that sucks. Yawan Bentley will be in now as a sub linebacker too, so that also changes. So we're gonna get to see him a little bit more as well. Stopping Gurley in the backfield. Let's go. I mean, he is rushing for what, 13, 14 yards of carry now. Good job just shutting all that off. Fourth and 12. So they didn't do much with the football there. Punting it out at the 20, where we will take over. That linebacker flows. I'm going to throw this real quick. I didn't have much to do. I could juke outside and maybe get outside, but but then I also run into the chance of losing yards, so it's not that big of a deal. That's fun. Yeah. I was going to say, he better get some defensive pass interference. Like he's come, he's trying to come underneath, and he's just getting fucking rocked across the middle. Eric Weddle actually tries to do something for once in today's game. Delivering that ball. Christian Kirk, get up. Come on. Decent running from Joe Mixon. It just doesn't look that great compared to, you know, 
the other guy, but Christian Kirk there. Nice juke by Iza, and he's injured. Fuck. Cool. So I think it's Ryan. No, it's not even Ryan Switzer. I, it's probably either Christian Kirk or Larry Fitz in the slot now. What the fuck is today? Picking up nine there. We only got one timeout, so I don't plan on using it right away. Doesn't quite hit that mark. If he would have got it to Auden Tate, I think we would have had the first down easy. Plus like 10. Marcus Peters tries to jump it. Doesn't quite get the jump that he wants. I called timeout. I called it. I called it at one. Give it to me. You motherfucker. I called it. That's such bullshit. I called that too. That sucks. I called that fucker. Oh, yep, okay. That's fun. Uh, shouldn't have done that. Mm, that hurts. I was like, maybe I can go up over this guy. No. Stopping him. He's still rushing for over like 11 yards of carry, so it's not that big of a deal that we stop him for two. Stopping him there for no rush. He is officially only at 10 now. 10 point, like, 1. Jerome Baker with the pick. Somehow Brandon Cooks just fucking yanks him. But good pick there by Jerome Baker just sitting underneath that football and going for it. I honestly th thought I could bounce it outside and I would be on like one on two. Or... But nope. Aaron Donald had other plans. And he has the balls back in. So. Dude, Auden Tate, you gotta get up and you gotta start looking around. If we could get Kyler Murray into that 30 touchdown count range, that'd be awesome. 4,000 yards and 30 touchdowns in his first year. That didn't end up so well. Let me go with this RPO here. I don't know why it wants me to run outside when there's fucking holes in the middle. Like, let me run up into the inside. Larry Fitz, I'm looking at you, motherfucker. You better get open. Nope. Oh, was coming open. Triangle was open for a second. Yeah. The two guys I did check off was Larry Fitz and whoever was on that uh, streak. Which didn't get open, so got a punt now. Nope, that is way too hard of a boomer. I was going to say, is this going to land inside the 10 as well? Nope. Stop him. Let's go. See, those are the types of things we need. Now he's under 10. Only. Only under 10. Chase Winovic. That one was on his own. He is absolutely dominating this season. Rookie's stepping up in a major way this year. Cooper Cup getting stopped after picking up, what was that, five? 
Yeah, about five to six. Pat Pete with a decent return, almost to the 50-yard line. 24-yard return there. I will take that any day of the week. Joe Mixon picks up about 10, not quite. I was just going for the first there. We did not get it. We get it there, though. Gonna hurry to the line real quick. Kirk not quite holding on to the football there. Very well contested by the defensive back. Jamal Williams in now. He's been very good for us these past couple weeks that now that he's been back on the team. Eric Weddle steps up. I thought I could get up the middle and make a little bit more of an impact there. Not quite. Jamal Williams rushing eight there, seven there, something like that. I kind of want to go for this. We're super close. Actually, no. Fuck that. I was going to say, that side's weaker, but then I looked and saw Aaron Donald, and I was like, nope, never mind, the other side's weaker. Aqib Tlaib just steps up. He makes, he does his job, and stops Adrian Peterson. Grant, I don't think that's the running back I wanted in. In that situation, I would have taken Jamal Williams over him. So slowly stopping him, but what can you do when the dude's already rushed for basically a buck forty? Good job, team. Let's go. Only like fifteen more of those. And we'll be in good shape. I don't know where he's throwing that, but I wish he would have thrown it inbounds to CGJ. Whoever 41 is, Long, I think that's David Long, came off just a second too early. We could have held that for a second longer. That would have been great for us. Didn't think Kyler Murray was going to throw that up in the air. I was hoping he would just throw it in front of him. Force him to go get it. Nothing really there. The defensive lineman came down, so I had to throw it. And when I did throw it, nobody blocked. So... Aaron Donald, yep, ruining the day like normal. That's his first full sack, but he's still been a force all day. Got to punt the football away again. Matt Hawk with some booming punts today. Gets it all the way to the other 27 after punting it from his own end zone, or about the end zone. I bounced in the wrong hole. Josh Jackson just cut him off. Cut him off. <sighs> He's not fast enough. Oh, that sucks. Back out on offense, down by five. We got to put some points up on the board. Joe Mixon starting us off strong with a good rush.
Andy Isabala with the catch. So after getting injured in the late part of the second quarter, he's looking just fine now. Joe Mixon doesn't quite get the first down, and if he does, it's... Yeah, no, he doesn't. Dalton Schultz, come on, you gotta come down with that one, bro. We're going for it. Um, no, I'm not kicking this fucking field goal. 62 yards? Fuck. Kind of want to do it. Well, screw it. This game doesn't really affect us anyway. Ah, oh, fuck. I kicked that so off the line. It goes in. What the fuck? 62 yards is Aldrich Rosas' new longest. One yard away from the record. I don't think he can get the record, though. Because that thing hit the upright and went in. Like... It might be, it might, you, you maybe could, but it's definitely not, it's going to be hard. You'd have to hit it perfect. As Todd Gurley just decides, I'm going to fucking run over everybody. He has 18 rushes for 214 yards. So that's fun. Yeah, I don't know where the defense has went. Like in the first couple weeks, we were shutting down every running back. But then again... I don't know if it was the running backs that we were shutting down or if the O-lines were just that shit. I, I really don't know. Apparently we're first in team sacks. Today we only have one, so that kind of indicates where our pass game has been, where our pass defense has been. As Jared Goff misses by a wide margin. He's slowly starting to struggle with that accuracy again. When Todd Gurley has more yards on the ground than you have through the air, it's pretty terrible. Well, it's pretty good for your team, I guess. Yeah, I was just trying to play contain with Solomon Thomas. I didn't realize how to slow Todd Gurley is when he's out of stamina. We're returning this. I don't care. Okay, Pat Pete's way too fucking slow for that. He'll just ride this all the way back to the five. Like I said, you either need to push him or you need to hook him. Billy Price did neither. He just pushed him into my fucking way and then went, oh, I'm done. A six foot five wide receiver doesn't even try for the fucking football. Thanks, Madden. I didn't see anybody open, so I thought, hmm, who's the tallest guy on the team? That can probably go up and get a football. Auden Tate. It's funny how Auden Tate has won less jump balls than fucking Andy. Is he? Is he? Andy is a baller. Like, that's fucking stupid. He is rushing for what? Just about, like, 10.5, 11, maybe, I don't know. Stopping Jared Everett there. He's actually the tight end I wanted the Bears to take over Adam Shaheen. But, yeah. I mean, they're both not great, but he's definitely been better. We stopped him. Let's go. Good job, Deontay Thompson. Might just push you in for a little bit just for that reward. 
That will go up by five again. How terrible must that seem like? Your wide receiver comes out of the end zone to catch it, takes a couple steps, and then gets hit, and he doesn't fall into the end zone. Like, that would suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Christian Kirk open, let's go. Just waiting for him to come open. I knew that he was going to come open on that back end, and I was waiting for it, but I didn't know how much time I had. So, Dalton Schultz with that catch. Joe Mixon picking up a decent chunk of change there. Did he bring that in? Let's go, Auden Tate. Joe Mixon picking up a decent run there. What was that? Like 12 yards? Yeah, I think so. He was at 96 go, thinking if you get four yards here on this next rush, then you'll be at five yards of carry for the game, which isn't terrible. Juan Taylor picking it up all the way down to the six. Larry Fitz down to the one. Trying to get it to Larry Fitz, but they sent too much pressure. Here we go. Trying to throw it into Andy Isabella for that 30th touchdown, but not quite there. We're going for it at the our, at their one. There's no point in not doing it. Touchdown, Christian Kirk. Putting us up. We're probably going to go for two here because that puts us up by a field goal, right, if we get it? Yeah. So we'll go for two here. Actually, nope, not running a fucking RPO. Kirk again. He puts us up by three. This could very much decide the division. Just saying. Because if 49ers won, I, I, I haven't seen their thing yet. I, I haven't been looking down there either, so. But if they did win, then, and if the Rams lose, this could change the outcome of the playoffs. It'll definitely change the seeding of the playoffs, but it could change the whole outcome of the playoffs as well. So. I'll try to continue to look, but with three minutes left, we got to make these stops, so. I'm not going to be too worried about it. No, they're... T oh, no, they're fucking up. So, yeah, they're winning. So, this is all in the Rams now. This is Rams. Do they have what it takes to go down and beat me? Which, they probably do. Let's be honest. They probably do. I don't know, but one bad mistake from Jared Goff could cost them the them this game. Hassan Reddick, you've got to come over faster. You've got to play that. He's sitting in your zone. You've got to step out of just the middle of your zone and go play that. Solomon Thomas could tackle there. Even if it is about three yards late, but better late than ever.
Sean Gary put in the pressure on there. Was wishing he would have got the sack there. Putting them to third down. It's going to be about third down and three at our 33. So we got to come up with a stop here. Oh, Jerome Baker knocks it out. Let's go. They can tie it up, though, here. So it's not that big of a deal. Now the ball is in our court. What can we do? Do we want to win the game and fuck with the division, or do we want to lose the game and get a better pick in the draft? I definitely say we want to win this game and fuck with the division. So, Only getting back to the 20-yard line there. Every play here is important now, so... We're going to try run the, running the ball. Should have bounced it out a little sooner, but oh well. Joe Mixon picking it up. Let's go. Taylor Rapp right there. Feel this edge, Schultz. Nope, okay. Third down and about seven. Not going to try to force anything. Alder Gross Huss did hit from 62. I'm not quite sure if the wind is blowing in the same direction. Cause I think we hit that in, what, the third quarter? So it's not blowing in the same direction. So we're probably going to have to get to at least the 55 for a chance. we got to get it within 55 yards. Kyler Murray picking up this first. Oh, shit. Time has really ran. Fuck. Well, that gives them no time if we do turn the ball over, so. Good and bad news there. Playing for the field goal now. Aaron Donald, go fuck yourself. Jesus Christ. I'm like, ooh, I got Dalton Schultz, and I'm like, yay. And then he was like, nope, not today. Yep, we got a double team Donald or he's gonna go right through that line like it's nothing. Nope, he still does. And they picked it. Fuck. Uh that's not great. And they have all their timeouts, so if they hit a good twenty yard play, it's over, so Oh, Josh Jackson with the pick. He's running. God damn it. We're going to overtime. We win. Let's come on. Now we have to win. We won the toss. We got to win now. Yes, we've already we already know what happened. We already called it and everything. Let's go. This is very anticlimactic. So we starting from our own 26. We're going to just play this how we were. We were just going to play it fast and go. Fuck, Aaron Donald is an X factor. It's not going to be a fun time for me. Jamal Williams with a the rush there, picking up about three. Billy Price held up there. He did not let Donald go. Good job. Fumble. Thank God Shamuka Okafor is there. But we're at our own 33 now.
can't really run the ball in this situation. Kirk. Let's go. Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk again. He's come on this game late. Jamal Williams picking up a couple. Not as good of a game from him today, but... Dalton Schultz just went up and fucked John Johnson. That's why I liked him. Adrian Peterson in now. Don't know where the fuck Joe Mixon's at. He's like, I don't want to play. Adrian Peterson. <gasps> Fumbled. Fuck. Can I challenge? There's nothing to challenge, really. The boost challenging, and that's why. Yeah, I'm going to say, I didn't think that was a fumble, but... Jamal Williams is close to picking up the first, doesn't quite get it. Tawan Taylor picking up the first. Another set of downs for us to play with. We could just go for the win. We could just kick it and just say, hey, defense, stop them. But we're going for the win here. Right now. That's Kyler. Kyler, touchdown. That's game. Kyler Murray walks it off. Let's go. He walks it off in L.A. He fucks with the division. Let's go. Good job, team. That was a very impressive win. That's a very awesome win by us. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget. I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Turn on post notifications. Uh, if you guys like what you see, stick around. If you guys are checking out one of these videos for the first time, if you guys aren't normally here for the roster updates on 2K, stick around. I'm going to be posting more and more content as the year goes on. Hopefully I'll be going into uploads daily at least. I'm hoping for every two days for the next month or so. And then hopefully daily after that. Um, yeah, so next episode will be the off season. We're going to take a look at stats uh, and contracts. And then we'll discuss who we're re-signing, if we're re-signing anybody. Who we're going at after in free agency and the draft. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.